So hello, good evening. Good evening, teacher. Hi, how are you? How was your day? Hi, my day, it was very hard, but very heavy. It was heavy, it was hard, it was a long day. Yes, a long day is my job because I have a lot of job. Uh, well, but it's almost time to go to sleep. <laughs> Just more, <laughs> one hour. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I don't believe it because I I do have work twelve hours in the in the day. That are missing two two hours yes. for you. Twelve hours. Oh. Okay. I have only six or four hours to sleep. Oh my god! <laughs> so yes, yes I imagine. Uh huh. Not nothing. Okay. Yes, that is. That's hard. That is a long schedule, right? So you have. Okay. But well, I hope you can sleep those six hours at least. Okay. So let's see, guys. Hello, hello. Justinia and Carla, too. Hi, good evening. Good evening, teacher. Hello. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. <laughs> yes, Thanks. guys, I will be working with you this week, right? Because teacher Kimberly couldn't, so I will be here this last class. Okay. 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 So, um, well, I already updated the the class, right? That we had yesterday was about was about the the in model work can and also some exercise at the beginning with uh, the intensifiers right so well it's just missing the last unit for us the unit number five and in this one we're going to study the use of tool and of course the use of some imperative sense so to start with this one, I want to give you vocabulary related to health problems, okay? To put in practice the adverb, in this case, the, it's not the adverb, sorry, the, the model verb, shoe. Okay, let's see some of them. I will show you and you will give me what I is. Okay, so let's see. Tell me, number one, which one? Is the correct for number one? What we call this? Hmm? How we call the number one? It's love. Heart attack. Heart ah. attack. Yes, it's heart attack. Okay, good. Now, what about number two? Bloom pressure. Ah, the pressure. Pressure. Mm -hmm. Blood pressure, exactly. When you take it. Okay, now what happened with number three? Accident. 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 Yes. This is like in general. Right? Okay. Now, number four? Blading. Blood pressure. Ah, it's not blood pressure. It's blading. Mm -hmm. Bleeding. It's like bleeding. Like if you have letter E. Uh -huh. Like if you have letter I, it means bleeding. Yes. bleeding. Now, this one. A lot of organic. Home remedy. Home remedy. Home remedy. Mm -hmm. That will be home remedy. Exactly. And number six, about the eye infection. Infection. Yeah, infection. that is infection. Okay. So, guys, yesterday, uh, we have an activity with Ken. And if you remember, almost at the end of the class, I give you three definitions, right? We just studied three of them. Illness, sick. Sickness and the other was, do you remember? Illness, sickness, and what was the other? 
Eel, thick, and what was Do you remember? Or no? No. Yesterday, guys. At the end. Almost at the end. We have illness, sickness, and disease. Yeah. What was the difference? I thought disease. When do we use disease? When it's something difficult, a hard situation, or not? Yes, hard situation. Like uh, mm -hmm. if I have cancer, it's a disease. Yes, exactly. Like cancer, exactly. That is a disease. Mm -hmm. Then we have illness. I told you that illness is just like a temporal uh, situation, like in general, right? We call it like la enfermedad. That is when you say illness. It's the person who experience of symptoms, any symptom and get sick. And then you have sicknesses. Sickness is when something is not complicated. For example, if I have flu, right? If I cough, if I have headache, or um, what else? If I have fever, that is a uh, sickness, okay? Because it's not complicated. So, in this time, guys, we're going to study some, let's see, some sickness, okay? Let's see. Okay, I will show you and then you will give me the name. Okay, just let me do it bigger. Now, yes, yeah. okay, I will be selecting some of you and you will help me to read. Let's see, Adela, help me to read this, the two that you have on the screen. Oh, my favorite. Hmm? Cough? A cold. And fever. Fever. Yes. Okay. What is cough, guys? When you. <coughs> Hello. That is cough. Okay. Mm. Now, let's see. Yes, Anya, help me with the, this too. A runny nose. A sore throat. Yes. Yeah. Rudy knows when you have flu and they stop going out, okay? That is a Rudy nose. And a sore throat is when it hurts, okay? You almost cannot sleep. You don't have fever, you don't have flu, you don't have cough, it's just hurt here. Mm, sore throat, okay? Now, let's see the next one. Uh, let's see, Armando, help me to read. Hmm, I don't know. I cannot listen to you. No, Daniela? Uh, stomach ache mm -hmm. and diarrhea. Mm, okay, in this one, we pronounce it diarrhea. 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 Oh. Yeah. Mm. Stomach ache and diarrhea. Sorry. Okay. Something that could be helpful, guys. Every single time that in Spanish we have dolor de, cada vez que en español un padecimiento, un síntoma, nosotros solemos decirles dolor de, ahí en inglés solo se pone como la parte del cuerpo y H, que es dolor. ¿okay? Entonces, dolor de cabeza, head, H. Juntitos, head, H. Dolor de estómago, ah, pongo estómago y le pongo el H. Stomach, H. Stomach, H. Un tip. Okay, that could be a tip. If you don't remember, you can combine it like that. But in Spanish, it should be dolor de, right? And then you say the part of the body. So with all of them, we can do it. Because, for example, diarrhea, 
It's, it's not for a specific part. Vaya, no se puede hacer con todos porque, por ejemplo, acá con diarrea no es dolor de. Solo le llamamos igual en español diarrea. Ok, el padecimiento, es una enfermedad. Pero, ah, entonces en inglés no le agrego el H porque no es dolor de. Okay. So that could be a tip. Puede ser un tip. Si no recuerdan cómo se dice, pero saben que en español se puede decir dolor de. Ponemos la parte del cuerpo y le agregamos H. Okay. Teacher. Yes, tell me. Can I speak in Spanish? Yes. Ok. Pero, Yo también he visto dolor en, en escrito en forma de pain. Uh -huh. Yes. Es similar. Yes, could be. Oh, okay. Both. Yes. Um, yes. Ok, then I will say something about it. Yes, but pain is also, it means dolor. Yes. Ok. Now let's see, Evelyn, help me. A broken arm, a bruise. Ah, yes, okay. What is the second, guys? What is it? Moretón. 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 Yes. Ah. Okay. yes. Okay, but in this case, yes, that's me, Moretón, exactly. But you call it bruise, bruise. The pronunciation in this one, bruise, a bruise. Yes, that is, un moretón. Okay, very good. Now let's see, Graciela, help me with this too. No, okay, got it? A bump and a cup. Mm -hmm. A bump and a cup. Okay. A bump most of the time is when you hit your head. Okay. Your forehead, your head in general, because then you feel like a super fist, right? When you touch it. So, so that is a bump when you hit it with something, but in your head. Okay. Now let's see. Carla, help me with this too. El ice scratch, scratch, scratch. No, no, no sé cómo se pronuncia. Which one? The first or the second? The second. Ah, sunburn. Sunburn. A sunburn. Yes. Mm -hmm. A scratch and a sunburn. Okay. A scratch is not sunburn. Yeah. Okay. A sunburn is when you have been under the sun and you didn't use protection on your skin. So you feel hurt, your, your skin hurt. That is a sunburn. It's como está quemado por el sol. That is sunburn. And according to the picture, just watching the picture, right? What does it mean? Quemado o requemado. Yes. Mm -hmm. That is requemado, huh? Okay. And a scratch? What is a scratch? Raspón. Raspón. Mm, the first one that I listen. Un raspón. A scratch. Yes. Okay. Now let's see the next one. Let's see. Eric, help me. Allergies and a boot bite. Yes. Exactly. A boot bite. Or there will be allergies. Allergies. Okay. Now let's see the next. And then I will ask Adela, help me with this. How do you how to pronounce number one? Oh, an ear age. Ear and ear age. Uh, yes, irish and headish. That's what I told you. Dolor de oído, dolor de cabeza. Ah, solo le agregamos H. Así como Eric nos decía, pain también es, o sea, pain es como decir dolor en general. Pain, ok. Pero técnicamente cuando estamos hablando de enfermedades, H, la, la expresión H es un tipo de dolor. 
Entonces, por eso lo podemos ir rotando con las partes del cuerpo, porque es un tipo de... Pain es como en general. I have pain in my stomach. Let's see. Or I feel pain. Siento dolor. Where a stomach cage en mi estómago, porque es un tipo. Okay, es como lo reducimos la, el rango y lo vamos clasificando. So, ear, age. Puntito, ear age. And head age. Yeah. Ok, good. Now let's see, Graciela. I scalp and toothache. Uh -huh. Scalp and toothache. Ok. So, What does what do you think is the meaning of a scab? What is it? Golpe. Mm -mm. That, happened, uh -uh, that happened after the scratch. If you remember, okay, this one, the scratch. Okay. Imagine that you have five, six days after the scratch. Then you have a scab. So what is a scab? Cascarón. Uh huh. Yes. Another way to call it. Mayugo. Uh -uh. uh -uh. Cicatriz. No. Uh, so so. Oh. Is that when you said it? Un cascaroncito. Es como bueno le llamaríamos la traducción de esto es como una costra. Ok, es de esa pielecita que se nos hace cuando ya se nos está curando. Eso sería el scab, la costa. That is, the scab. El cascarón, el cascarón, perdón. Exacto, that would be scab. Primero sería scratch y luego sería scab. Y de último nos quedaría bruise, que se hace hasta después. O durante se está sonando, tienen bruise, el moretón. Ahí. Ok, so this is scab and Toothache, dolor de dientes. Ok, dientes. That could be in general. Now, let's see this too. Uh, let's see, Daniela, help me. A band-aid and a cast. Mm -hmm. A band-aid, that would be a band-aid at the end. Band-aid. Huh? Purita. And a cast. Exactly. Okay, guys. So, and well, in general, we have these two medicine in general. We call it like we can put it all of them in just one category, and then a shot when they put something inside of your arm or any part of your body with a, a like to inject, but that will be a shot. Okay. In general, the one that you call in Spanish una vacuna, una inyección. There will be a shot. Okay. Now, we have two more. Let's see. Yesenia, how much are it? A thermometer and x-ray. Yes. We have a thermometer and an x-ray. Okay. Good, guys. Now. Let's see, we're going to practice with this. According to the picture that you will see on the exercise, you have to recommend or to select the best for each symptom. Now, let's see. Okay, guys, so. Okay, we have a mouth. Which one? According to the options that we have under. Which match with the mouth? Mouth wash. wash. Mouth wash. Mouth wash. Wash. Yes, exactly. Very good. The, okay. She had cough. Just like. Cough. 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 Yes. Yes. Cup. Syrup. Okay. What's the meaning of syrup, guys? Como jarabe. Jarabe yes. para la tos. Yes, exactly. Cup syrup. That's the meaning. Jarabe. Yes. Para la tos. Exactly. 
No. Hmm. She have. She has headache. Feel aspirin. Feel aspirin. Yes, exactly. A pill or an aspirin. Yes. Okay. Now, uh, what's the name of this? Antiseptic ointment. Antiseptic ointment. Okay. What's the meaning of ointment? Como que fuera antibiótico, algo así, antibiótico, antiséptico. Uh -huh. uh -huh. Antiséptico, yes, es antibiótico, right? Antiséptico. Ointment, solo o la palabrita ointment, that means pomada, exacto. Ointment, ok. And this is a scab or a scratch? Scratch. Scratch. Yes. Uh -huh. a scratch yes es el raspón scratch ok good now uh, he's at the beach sunscreen sunscreen yes he needs sunscreen ok good and when you have problems to breathe you will need an inhaler Okay, very good, guys. Now, let's see. Let's continue with the next part. We're going to have some more because then we'll, you will have an activity, okay? And you will use them. So that's why I am giving you vocabulary with this. Okay. So if you can take notes because that will be helpful to the activity that we are going to develop later. Okay. We have this one, throat, throat, spray, throat, spray. You have to repeat it, please. Throat, spray. Throat, spray. Throat, spray. Throat, spray. When you have cough or when you throw pain, we, we take it. Throat, now, I now ear drop ear drop when do we use it when I have ear uh -huh. when I have ear that I use ear drop Okay, now ointment. Pomada. Ointment. Pomada. Ointment. When I have sunburn, for example, I need ointment. Or when I have allergy. Uh -huh. Yes. Now, cough. Go zero. Go zero. Go zero. Go zero. Yes. Now, heal. Pills. Yeah. Pills. Pills. In general. Pills. Yeah. When you say pills, that is in general, guys. Another one that we have is pain killer. Pain killer. Okay. If you remember pain, it's like the big category. And when you say killer, what does mean killer alone? Killer. killer. Uh -huh. K I L L I R killer, uh -huh. yes. matador o asesinador. Ah, un asesino. Okay. And if we combine pain killer, oh. does it make sense? Sería un. ¿Qué hace? Le tenemos un pain killer. Sería un. Ah, mate el dolor, ok. Entonces a eso lo dejamos como un analgésico. Pain killer. Ah, cuando tenemos pills es en general. Cuando, tiene, cuando escuchen pain killer es una pastilla que es más fuerte. Okay. Suele ser más fuerte que el promedio. Es como, ya no aguanto este dolor, me voy a tomar esto. Eso sería un pain killer, un analgésico. Y viene del compuesto de pain, de dolor, y killer, de puntitos. Ah, va a matar el dolor. So, pills, remember, in general. And that one is the one that I told you. 
Pain. 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 Sleeping pills. When do I use the sleeping pills? When do we Cuando use? Se puede when dormir, I cannot sleep. Uh -huh. Exactly. When you can't sleep. Very good. Okay, guys. No. Let's see. What do we have to do now? Okay. We're going to review the use of two and three. Tell me, guys, when do we use two? When do we use two? Uh -huh. The auxiliary two. When do we use two? Recommendation. Uh -huh. Yes, exactly. When you give a recommendation. Exactly. Okay. When you give an advice, like you should eat more fruits. You should sleep or uh, you should drink more water. When you talk about obligation, too, right? Something that you have to do, it's part of your obligation during the day. And well, even when you talk about probability or expectations about something. So, in this time, guys, we are going to put in practice the use of should, like working with some advice when you feel sick. Okay, I will show you what we're going to do. First, we're going to have this listening activity and then you will work in partners. Okay, well, I will give you time to listen the audio and then we're going to try to take notes because we have to complete the conversation. And then we're going to, uh, and then we're going to have the activity in part. Okay. Now I will play the audio and try to take notes about the answers. Okay. And then we're going to select. Okay. Just let me know if you can listen the audio. Good morning, Mrs. Jones. Can you listen? Good morning, Mr. Jones. Good morning. Yes. Yeah. Okay. So I will play the full audio. It's around one minute and a half. And then we're going to fill the blank space. Okay. Just to pay attention now. Let's see. Good morning, Mrs. Jones. What seems to be the problem? Well, doctor, I have a sore throat and a bad cough. <coughs> <coughs> I also have a terrible headache. How long have you had these symptoms? About four days now. And I'm feeling really tired too. It sounds like you've got the flu. Take two aspirin every four hours. You should also get lots of rest and drink plenty of fluids. If you don't feel better in a couple of days, give me a call. Thank you, doctor. Okay, guys, tell me, do you want to listen one more time? Okay. Yes or no? Mm. Yes, teacher. Yes? Okay. Good morning, Mrs. Jones. What seems to be the problem? Well, doctor, I have a sore throat and a bad cough. <coughs> I also have a terrible headache. How long have you had these symptoms? About four days now. And I'm feeling really tired, too. It sounds like you've got the flu. Take two aspirin every four hours. You should also get lots of rest and drink plenty of fluids. If you don't feel better in a couple of days, give me a call. Thank you, doctor. Okay, guys. 
So, let's see. What was the first one? Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning, Mr. Jones. What seems to be the problem? Problem. The problem, exactly. What seems to be the problem? Okay, and Mr. John said, Well, doctor, I have. Uh, um, I have. I have. I have. A short, a short, a short rod and a bad headache. 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 Cold. Cold. And a bad cough. And a bad cough. Oh. I have. I also have, also have a, a, terrible a terrible headache. headache. A terrible headache. Okay. And the doctor asked, how? How? How long? How long? How long, how long have you had? Mm. This? This symptom. Or this? This. No, this. This. Ah, this is plural. Okay. This. this symptom. And Mr. John said, about four days. Days? Days. About four days now. And I'm. Nine. Uh, looking or or feeling 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 I'm feeling really tired really tired too okay really tired too and the doctor say it sounds like you got flu flu the flu exactly Take two pills. pills. Take two pills. Mm. Mm. Every four hours. 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 You show. Okay, you should also get a lot of rest and. Um. Drink. You drink, drink plenty of fluids, like drink a lot of fluids, right? And if you um, don't feel or feel, um, don't feel, if you don't feel better in a couple of days, days, give me a call. And Mr. John thank say, you. Thank, you. Thank, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Very good. Uh -huh. Okay, now let's check it. Good morning, Mrs. Jones. What seems to be the problem? Well, doctor, I have a sore throat and a bad cough. <coughs> I also have a terrible headache. How long have you had these symptoms? About four days now. And I'm feeling really tired too. It... Okay, so good guys, all of them were correct. Okay, now what we're going to do right now to practice with the use of should. As I you, as you told me, should is used to give recommendation, right? What you have to do or what you don't have to do, what you should do and what you shouldn't do. Now we're going to divide it. I will divide it guys in couple. Okay, you will work just with partner. I think, yes, with a partner. Okay, and what we have to do, we're going to have a role play. Okay, what will be a, 
Let's One of the students had to pretend to go to the doctor, like the conversation that we completed, and talk about the symptoms that you have, okay, that you feel. And the other student has to pretend to be the doctor. And you have to give a prescription. But a prescription about what? About recommendation for getting well, for getting better, okay? And what do you have to do? Should, use the structure, should to recommend what the patient have to do and what has not to do, okay? Have it. That's the idea. Use should and should not. The doctor give the recommendation and also the patient can ask. Okay, doctor, can I or can't I? Could be both. Okay. So tell me guys, is it clear? The activity? Is it clear? What do you have to do? Yes or no? But chair, what's the meaning be bold? Which one? Be bold. Where? Uh, so when you told us about example, can I, doctor, can I be bold? What's the meaning? No, the use. You have to use. You can ask uh, uh -huh, to the, the doctor. doctor. Huh? Is that the question? What's the meaning of? Yes. Okay. The patient can ask question to the doctor. That's the idea. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Okay. I can help this. Yeah. Good. Very good. So guys, that will be the activity. I will divide you in groups. I will give you 10 minutes. It's not going to be complicated. We're going to have two trios. Vamos a tener dos trios. Y solamente una pareja porque solo hay ocho. Ok, tres, seis. Ah, no, si les puedo dividir más. Permítame, quiero ver. Ok, no, entonces sí quedamos bien con, con parejas. Ok, so don't worry. Vamos a estar en parejas. ¿Qué vamos a hacer? Uno es el paciente, the patient. The other is a doctor. El otro es el doctor. Presenta los síntomas. Y el doctor le da una prescripción, prescription. Pero no va a ser, pueden agregar vocabulario que vimos de la medicina, como puede tomar esto, pero quiero que se enfoquen más en el uso de should. ¿Por qué? Porque ustedes me están dando recommendations. Me van a dar recomendaciones al paciente, le van a dar recomendaciones. ¿Qué pueden hacer? ¿Qué no? En the patient, el paciente también puede preguntar, doctor, can I? ¿Puedo? Y luego completamos. Porque can era para también ask permission for, pedir permiso. Entonces, quiero escucharlos con el uso de should, shouldn't. Ok. Now, it's clear the activity, guys. Yes, teacher. Yeah. Ok, good. So, I will open the breakout rooms. ¿Ya habían trabajado con los breakout rooms? Yes, teacher. Yes, ok. So, it's not new for you. So I will open, I will give you 10 minutes, and then you come back to present the activity. Okay, so you can join to the breakup rooms.
Hello, teacher. Ready? Yeah. It's ready. <laughs> okay, very good. You're ready, guys. So let's see. We're going to listen. Mm, volunteer to start. Adela Yesenia. Okay, very good. So go ahead. Adela. Hello, good morning, doctor. Eh, Maricela, eh. Perdón, perdón. Yes. Maricela, Maricela. Hello, good morning. How can I help you? Oh, per excuse me, excuse me. <laughs> How can I help you? I am very sick. What are the signs? I feel headless, stomach, fever, and body pain. How many days has it been like this? Two days. You should rest for five days and take two pills every eight hours. Thank you, doctor, for your recommendation. You're welcome. Okay, okay, very good. So thank you, guys. That was really nice. Okay, now let's listen to Karen and Emily. Okay. Good night, Karen. What are you? What are your symptoms? Good night, doctor. My visit is because I have been presenting symptoms of COVID. I have fever, and stomach, uh, stomach. Uh, what is recommendation? Okay, Karen. In this case, you should drink very liquid and painkiller his eight hours, and you should take a rest for three days. Thank you, doctor. Good evening. My pleasure. Take care. Okay, okay. Very good. Okay, and let's listen to Adela and Daniel. <laughs> Doctor? Uh, good afternoon, Miss Adela. Can I do for you? I come because I feel very bad. What are the symptoms that you have? I had it and I feel a fever. What can I drink? Um, you should drink pills for headache and take a rest. Okay, good. Thank you, doctor. Bye. Bye. Okay, okay, good, guys. And is missing someone else? Let's see. Who is missing? I think some one of you is missing. But no. Or yes. Let's see, Gaciela, who was your partner? Hola? Who was your partner? You you already no, you was the last one, right? No. Who was working with you? A mí se me desconectó el teléfono. Quizás como unos cinco minutos. 
Yo creo que por eso ya no logré hacer la actividad. Okay, okay, okay. So don't worry. So let's see. Not all of you. Okay, okay. So guys, as you can see, we can use should when you give recommendation. Okay, and that is a polite way a uh, to recommend someone to do something. For example, when you go to the doctor, they use should to recommend what can we do and what. We cannot do okay, and that would be like what should you do to feel better or what you shouldn't do. Okay, some corrections in general at the end of each activity. I like to give like recommendation, like sometimes we get distract distracted, and I know that we misspell some words. For example, when you say what can I? The correct one, what can I? Like, like this, what can I drink for? What uh, can I do? Okay. And also, how can I help you? Porque les escuché solo, what I do is what can I do? Entonces, también puede ser, how can I help you? How can I help you? ¿Cómo puedo ayudarte? Le preguntaba el doctor. How can I help you? Ah, in this case, help you, like this one. How can I help you? Okay, then when you arrive at any place, cuando llegamos a un lugar y ya está de tarde, noche, a partir de las 6 p.m., digamos, cuando saludamos, no me digan good night, me dicen good. Good evening. Ah, sería evening, good evening. Okay. It doesn't matter 6 p.m. until 6 a.m. Si son las 6 p.m. hasta las 6 de la mañana del siguiente día. Llegamos a un lugar, pero estamos saludando. Es good evening. Good evening. Y solo cuando nos vamos, decimos good night. Good night. Yes. Cuando nos despedimos ¿verdad? de un lugar o incluso cuando ya nos vamos a dormir, ahí ocupamos good night. Entonces, okay. si llega, si es saludo, good evening. Sin despedida, good night. Good night. ¿Ah? Otra forma un poquito más informal, digamos, de decir adiós sería have a good one. Have a good one. No me lo traduzco en literal porque así no tiene mucho sentido. Have a good one. Es como que tenga buena noche. Un buen momento. Have a good one. ¿Ah? Ese sería un modismo, digamos, que podemos ocupar. Eh... Then something else that I listen. Cuando tomamos líquidos, podemos decir a lot of, muchos, líquidos, liquids, a lot of, o como lo teníamos en el ejercicio del doctor, que le recomendaba plenty liquids. You can drink, le decía, plenty. plenty. Es Liquid. lo mismo que muchos. Ah, plenty. Plenty liquids. And just the pronunciation of this head H. Head H. Okay? Head H. Uh -huh. Head H. I know it could be complicated, but it's head H. Let's see where we have it. It's here. Head H. Head. Y como que solo le agregamos el H. Head. H. Y lo intentamos pronunciar rapidito. Head H. To have it together. Huh? Yes. And the rest of the activity, the, the main idea to use should and shouldn't was perfect. What you should do and you shouldn't do according to your symptoms. A veces se me enfocan más en el uso del, de la actividad de lo que uno les está hablando, que en este caso les pedí should, but Y ahí es donde descuidamos esos detallitos en las otras expresiones, que también son temas que, que vemos ¿verdad? dentro del programa. Pero siempre les hago así como esas señales al final de, de cada actividad. No, no vaya tal persona esto, esto, porque no me gusta hacerlo así tampoco, sino que como en general que nos sirva a tus, ¿verdad? Que cómo okay. podemos mejorar. Ok. So, guys, today we practice with health problems, vimos algunos problemas de salud, como podemos, estos eran más leves, pero no era ningún problema 
grave, digamos, y el uso de should y shouldn't. Que ya lo habían estudiado también un poquito usted, right? Ya sabían ustedes cuál era el enfoque. For tomorrow class, we're going to focus on imperatives. Para mañana nos quedan las imperatives. And Thursday, we have like a general review. Okay, so guys, we're going to stop here uh, for today class. And I will see you tomorrow, okay? To continue Thank with you. Good Thank night. You. Okay, teacher. Good night. 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 Good